Hi guys and here welcome back to the complete guide to Micron survival and we're here outside our little home and as I promised I am now going to make a few changes to here just to make it look a little bit tidier. I'm not going to go too crazy because I don't know where we're going to live long term but for the time being we can actually make a start and just make a few changes and sort of make this a, look, a bit of a nice place to live. So first things first I've just dug out a little archway around my door. So if I come into here I don't have a window, so let me just take you out of the way there, and you, and can I poke that through there? So I'm too deep here at the front, which in offense I don't really think I need. So let's trip all that out, and we have a window there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trim this all the way back, and make that a little bit wider. There, just we've got a window there, we can always take that wall back as well if we want to. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to frame this up in logs. I'll put one beam running all the way along the top, just to look like it's being supported. I'll put beam up that side and up that side. That's fine. And to give it a little bit more depth, I'll put this beam in here. And dog, I'm afraid you're going to have to move. I'll have to give you a name at some point, won't we? Well, I'm just going to come down here. That's it. You sit there. Right. Um, I'll pop you out here, and then we'll do the same on this side. I can probably grass over the top anyway, but that's giving us a little bit of a frame to work with, and that's fine. Actually, I forgot my workbench. And you'll notice over there, we've got pumpkins growing and melons growing. I have extended both those back to five each. I keep harvesting them every now and then. So first things first, I want to make some stairs. Put the stairs into these corners like so, just to give that a little bit of shape. Have I got any oak wood? I've got, have I got oak wood on me? There's some oak wood. What I'm going to do, I'm going to split the wood down into two piles. I'm going to take out all this dirt here. Like that. And what I'm going to do now is start putting some oak back in place. And I'm going to mix this in with a few logs, like so. And then we'll chuck planks in the rest of them. Put one that way. And if you right click on a log, you strip it. And what you're basically doing then, you're texturing up your wall. So sort of similar colors, but you've got that slight variation in texture. And that's just giving you a little bit more interest going in. Um, got plenty of dirt up here. Oh, hello, this is the Wandering Trader. Um, where's he gone? An interesting gentleman indeed. Um, it was introduced to give people opportunities to buy things they may not get their hands on. So if you go up to the... He wanders around the game with his two llamas. If you right click on him, if he stands still, you'll have a range of trades which are random, which he will sell for obviously uh, emeralds. So obviously dyes, seeds, uh, poppies, uh, podzel. Uh, he also do the saplings. Uh, I don't know if he does cocoa bean seeds but it'll do the same with the saplings here we'll do coral ice sand um but basically i've got no emeralds so you have no use to me whatsoever right now um okay i'm going to show you something now which you can do if you so wish you'll notice he's got these two llamas and that's not the llamas are important but this piece of string connecting him to the llamas are leads you know what's coming, don't you? Um, and they're, they're quite good. They're, 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 they're handy. In fact, right now, he's separated his llamas altogether. So, if I dispose of him, he will drop the said leads and I can use them. Now, they may take offense at this. They start spitting at me because llamas will spit at you. And we'll talk about llamas more when we meet them in the wild. But killing a llama will yield you some leather. And there is the other lead. 
I'll just dispose of this llama. If he's just, if he stands still, like so. Didn't get any leather that way, but yeah, um, the trader can actually provide you with leads, and they can come in handy in the future, um, no doubt. You can make leads with string and slime balls, uh, of which I have. I have no slime balls at the moment. Um, and we'll we'll get to slimes at some point in the future, no doubt. But right now, yeah, the the trader has been dealt with. We'll just leave it at that, shall we? He will hang around your area for quite a few days, Minecraft days, making noises, getting in the way, going where you don't want him to go. Um, so that's generally how I, I deal with him. Okay, I've just landscaped this up a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna just take this over a little bit more. I'm going to then pop in another couple of the supports in there. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna get some half slabs, which are basically three planks in a row. I'm gonna just pop them under there like so. Just to give that a little extra support there. Um, I'm gonna do that because it's got the log in its place. What you can actually do, in fact, I'm gonna take you out. In fact, I'm gonna put another log in its place instead. I'm going to put the wallet poking out like that, and likewise over here. So I'm also going to get my furnace. Cobble. You can put cobble into furnaces with some coal, and it will smelt it back into the smooth stone you get here. This stone, if I mine this with a pick, so for example, I get cobble. To get that stone, you need a silk touch pick, which is an enchantment you can get on it, or you can smelt the cobble back into smooth stone. You can then into stone. You can then smelt this stone and put put this stone back in the furnace, smelt it down into smooth stone. But what I want, I want two pieces of stone. Each stone can make a stone button. And what I can do, I put the stone button on the end of each one there, and it gives the impression of like a nail's been driven into there to give it some sort of additional support. We have a window space there. And for the moment, what I'm going to do is put a fence in there. I can smell some glass if I wanted. I'll put some glass into there. I know it's getting dark. But it's looking a little bit better now. Um, in fact, let me just go to the night. And by the water front, we can just do a little bit tied up there, I suppose. Just make that look a little bit. There, planks, I want planks, I want logs. I do indeed, yeah, you agree. Okay, so put some logs in there, and we'll put some logs into the water. And this is just going to give this an impression of, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, there's fences. There we go. Right, seriously. Right. Oh, squids. Right, I keep trying to save your brethren and you're not helping me one little bit. That's it, good squid. Right, I'm gonna put a gap there if I can put a boat if I want to, if we're going out there. And then we'll do, we'll just put a few torches along the top here, just for a bit of illumination. And that's all good there. Now, if I want a pathway coming up over here, just to get to the top, I'm going to do one each side. You can put a half slab down, like so. Take you out there, like that. And then what that allows you to do is just run straight up the hill without any issue or having to jump anywhere. And then that can go up to there. And then I can run down there, no issue, and I don't have to jump. I'm gonna do the same over here. Right, and there we go, we've got them stuff there. And these two all bath link up to my animal pen. 
There is some eggs. I'm just going to go and grab them. Now, if you want to just extend the pathway a little bit more, if you right click on the grass, it creates a path block. And then that, you can then wind your path in. Highlight it a little bit more clear. I'm going to let that grass go back there. Again, you don't have to be too detailed with it. As if you just make it out that you've got a little bit of a path block in. It just shows that you know, there's some element of a path there. And then you can use that in the future. But that's not a bad start in here we can do some more work inside but I'll do that at a later date because I want to move on to the second part of this and just so I'm getting myself organized I'll be back with you in a second but now the Sun is setting I want to return back to this cave and go a bit deeper and see if we can find some more resources all the different ores in the game will appear at set levels so for example coal will appear anywhere under level Y132, so press so IF3. So the Y level is the middle number of the X, Y, and Z on the left-hand side, second block down at the top. Coal is say below 132, iron is below 68. Lapis and gold will be below 34, although in Mesa, gold can be higher. Redstone and diamonds have got to be below 16. Emeralds have got to be able to blow 33. An emerald block can only be found in a mountain biome, so we won't find any here. I can hear a skeleton. I'm going to move these furnaces down though. So I can hear a skeleton walking around. This is all illuminated up, so I'm going to put these furnaces in here. Because we're sort of coming down, this is sort of like our temporary stop off point. We lit up down there, and we've also got down in this way to go as well. But this one's going dropping deeper. There's some more iron there I didn't get. But we'll head down this way, and we'll see what we can find. I'm going to keep doing the same approach as last time. The torch is on the right. So, does this go back up? It does. So, what I'll do, I'm going to cut off now. I'll keep rolling, and if I find anything exciting, I'll bring it back in as I go a bit further deeper. Uh, hopefully we'll find some more goodies further down in this cave. Okay, I've got to a point now where I've been around this cave and I've found nothing. I'm at Y33, so I'm not far off diamond level. And one thing you can do is try and find other caves. And one way to do that, if you want to music in your options menu, you can put subtitles on and they will pick up any game sounds you might not be able to hear. So, oops, let me move them along. So, what I'm going to do is put my torches in my offhand, make this big enough, and I can put some torches up. And what I'm going to do is just make my way down like this. I've got my coordinates on so I can see how far I'm going down. And I'm looking out for any hint of things like lava popping, water flowing. Or mobs making noises to see if I can identify another cave. And here's our first other ore. This is a lapis. A lapis, you can use it as a decorative block, it can be turned into blue dye, but more importantly, we can use it on enchanted tables when we're enchanting our items. So we we'll might as well grab that as it's there. But what I'm going to do now is head down, a bit more iron there. In fact, I've left some iron behind in some of the other caves. Which I'll have to go and snag at some point. Because you will need an ever ending supply of iron in this game as you go forward. I'm just going to dig down. I'm going to go as far as Y11. And that's because when you get out to that level, you can at that level get more frequently. Oh, that eerie noise. As far as my way, it doesn't mean anything. It's just more like a, a background sound, sound in the game. Just to put you on edge. I'm not picking up anything at all. But Y11 is the common height for lava lakes in this game. And these big pools of lava underneath the world. 
So I'm on 11 now. And I'm getting nothing whatsoever. And that is gold. So there we go. That's the second of our ores we found. I'll just grab this and can use gold for you can make a set of tools and arm out of it, although the durability is very low. It's more important now with the nether update because you can, the piglins in the nether will trade it trade you for it. And you need gold armor for them to be passive to you. But I'm at Y11 now, and what I'm going to do now is show you another method you can do for hunting for diamonds. And in all fairness, this isn't something I would normally do because I don't find it interesting at all, but you can strip mine. So basically just mine along in a line like so. so I, if you do, you can go five blocks forward like that with your pick. There are three high. And the idea is all you're doing is doing what you can to find diamonds. And then you just mine at this level, because this is probably the most common level for diamonds. I'm between 10 and 12. So all I'm going to do now is just do this for a little bit, just to see how successful it is. Clear out the dirt as we go along, and then we'll see what we get. So one variation on this is also branch mining, and that's when you get down here, and you effectively just put poke holes down each side like that. Just see if anything down there, and then you go down two or three blocks and do another poke hole. And then see if anything crops up there. And if there's anything there you want, you can then go and get to it. Again, some people find this relaxing. And again, there's no right or one way of doing this. It all comes down to personal preference of what you like to do and what you enjoy doing. My pickaxe is about to break, so I'm going to have to smelt another one up. But I'm going to do this for a little bit. Uh, and just so, so I can show you what sort of results you can get from this. I just wonder if we get any damage in this first little stint before I get to where I've gone down into there. Or at least some redstone, perhaps. But no, there doesn't appear to be anything at the moment. See, there's some coal there. And there goes my pickaxe. Luckily, I have got some more iron with me, which is good. Make a new pickaxe. Do that bit there, and then we'll do one more. And then this one. No, so I thought I'll do this for a little bit more, see if I can find anything. Uh, just the mugging it for long though, because like I say, it's not my idea of fun, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. So I'll be back with you in a second. We have our first diamonds. There's one, there's two, picks broken. Three, four, five, six. Not a bad start at all for that. I just cleared out some gravel and they were there. Another eerie noise. I'm going to clear out this gravel just to see what's behind all this here. A quick, quick way to create clear gravel out is using the torch method. Gravel, like sand, is a block which is affected by gravity. So if I take that block out and quickly put a torch there, it will clear the gravel out for me. And then be too quick with the torch. Thank you for saying that. So just leave that down there. But, but in all fairness, no redstone yet. Which is something I would like to get my hands on a little bit anyway. For something that could be in the future. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll see if I can crack on and get a little bit more redstone. Or some redstone at least. Find a bit more lapis. Um. But normally there's never an issue finding a stone, but today it's been very elusive. So let me see if I can find some redstone. I'll be back with you in a second. Ah, there we go. Maybe it is. I don't need a lot, just a little bit. So I'll grab this 
and then that will be the end of my strip mining. Probably for the entire duration of this series. I'll just fill in this little bit I've done down here, and then it'll be done. There we go, a few more diamonds. I'll just mine out this last bit of coal. I'm not going to say no to them. We'll grab them. Get the rest of this coal, and then I'm going to head back to my home. So I will see you there in a second. Okay, I am now back out, heading back home. Bit successful there. I got a little bit more redstone towards the end. We've got 11 diamond, got a load of coal, iron, lapis, a bit of gold. But when it comes to mining and how you get your resources, it is entirely down to you. If you're happy strip mining, go ahead and strip mine by all means. If you just want to cave, then go ahead and cave as well. It is personal preference. There is no right or one wrong way to do it. Uh, just because I'm not a big fan of strip mining doesn't mean that you shouldn't strip mine. If you find strip mining easy and comfortable, then by all means, you know, go ahead. Strip mine to your heart's content. You know, no one's going to tell you wrong otherwise, and if they are, they'll, in no offence, they're wrong. I say it is a very open game how you want to play it. Let me just chuck everything into here. And then everything got to eat my pumpkin pies. But there we go. I did actually break out into the cave right at the end, at that last point where we were on that branch mine. There was. No, no, stop dying! No, don't. Every time I talk, they have to kill themselves. Anyway. Yeah, right at the end it broke out into a cave, so I will go back at some point and explore that and see what goodies it holds. But, this has been a very successful episode. We've tied our house but a little bit. We've gone to a cave in. We've got some more resources, um, including the elusive diamonds. So, we're in a position where we can maybe think about enchanting, um, going to the nether. All these options are now open up to us. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done it already, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Don't do it! Bye-bye. <sighs>